Hello, this is Paula Wilson Young speaking, uh, acupuncturist, in case you didn't know, if you've not watched any other videos. Uh, I'm Paula, hello, I, I'm a degree qualified acupuncturist, uh, qualified in 2007. And what I'm sharing in this little series of videos is all the most kind of common questions and concerns that people have around coming to see me for an acupuncture session. So there's another video that talks about how you can make the most of it in terms of you know, optimising your session. Today I'm going to talk about what happens in that initial consultation. Then I'm going to do another session that's going to talk about kind of aftercare stuff, essentially. Um, so, you're already in my clinic. We're sitting in the room together. We're actually sitting in this room usually. Um, I do work two treatment rooms, but I always use this one um, that I'm in just now um, for my new patients. Um, so you come in, I'm going to fill in lots of paperwork with you and ask you lots of questions. It's a 90 minute appointment. I always use 90 minutes for these sessions because I don't like rushing people. A lot of people try and squeeze it into an hour because that's the typical return session. I prefer 90 minutes because I don't like to feel rushed and I like to ask lots and lots of questions. So first of all, I'll ask you why you're here, what's going on. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. Start with the boring bits of paperwork as I call it. So name, address, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the stuff that I have to have for insurance purposes. GP's information, that sort of stuff, medications, all that kind of stuff. Then we get into the good stuff. So why are you here? Why are you sitting in front of me now? Why have you chosen to have acupuncture? What's going on? Do you have a pain? Is it because of your hormones? Are you menopausal? Do you get mental PMT? Um, do you have digestive problems? What's going on, basically? So that's the first thing. So that's called the presenting condition. So we'll talk about that in detail. I'll ask you questions on it. You can give me information. So I'll ask the general history, you know, when did it start? Where is it? What does it do for you? How is it limiting you in life? You know, why are you here now? If you've had this pain for 20 years, why have you decided today's the day you're going to deal with it? So we'll go through all that. Then, <laughs> and I'll ask you a question I've never even thought about, about the condition, to be honest. It's very rare that I don't. Because um, I'm already, I consider myself a body detective. I love that phrase. Um, so I'm asking you lots of questions so I can do some detective work, work out what's going on with your body, what is your body trying to tell us. If we think of signs and symptoms, so signs and symptoms are pain, are insomnia, are, you know, there's lots of them. Basically, our body's not working at optimum. So that's a sign or a symptom. And your body's telling you something's not right. It's trying to tell us, I'm not happy, something needs to change. And that's where I step in, um, essentially. So we'll ask you specific stuff about the reason why you're here. Then I'm going to go on to lots of general questions. And I'm going to ask about bowel movements in detail that you've never thought of before. I'm going to ask about eating habits. I'm going to ask about lots of other symptoms. If you've got anything wrong with your skin, if you've got any problems with your eyes, if you've got any problems with your ears, hair, um, what your temperature regulations like, how thirsty you are, what you drink, all these questions. And I'll discuss kind of what they mean if you wish uh, during the session as well. Um, for us, they're all diagnostic. They all help us get to the root of what's going on. So I can just treat your symptoms, that's fine. So you're presenting conditions. So say you woke up to me with a dodgy knee. I can treat your dodgy knee, but if you want to stop the dodgy knee ever coming back, then we need to dig a bit deeper. Unless there's been a really obvious injury, to be fair. But generally speaking, we end up having to dig a bit deeper and work out where it's coming from and treat that as well so that it stops coming back. I see it as my job to empower you to never need to see me again. <laughs> Uh, unless it's for something brand new. That's how I see my job, uh, which doesn't make for a great business model, but it makes for a great therapist model. It's my job to get you well enough and empower you to feel like you can go do it yourself. You can figure out what's going wrong, what you need to tweak within your lifestyle to make that happen, right? So go through all that. I'm going to ask lots of questions. I'll probably look at your tongue as well, and I will probably take your pulses as well. Uh, and they're also diagnostic for us. Um, then it's treatment time. So depending on what's going on for you will determine exactly how I work. And I will describe this to you in the treatment room. This is just to give you a bit of a heads up. So questions I get asked is, can you see the needles? Only if you want to. <laughs> uh, if you want to see the needles, you can. More often than not, you're either lying face up or face down, depends on what's going on. Very rarely do I have people sitting up. Uh, unless you're very heavily pregnant, you're not going to be sitting up. And then if you're nervous about seeing needles, shut your eyes. I'm not going to be offended, I promise. Um, other questions I'm asked, does it hurt? So 
it's a difficult one to answer, to be honest. I would never say never. Um, I think sometimes it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but it should never be torturous. If it's verging into painful territory, if it's sharp, stabby, just annoying in any way, shape or form, again, I will talk to you about this in the treatment in more detail, then you need to tell me. You need to talk to me about it. It's not a case of the more painful it is, the better it works. That's not how acupuncture works in my experience. Um, but I will talk to you about that in more detail. But the general gist is, I would say, you might feel a wee pinch and it might feel a wee bit achy. But more often than not, people are, feel very relaxed um, during the treatment. And a lot of people don't even notice the needles going in. It's not everyone. So, and, uh, you know, humans are all different. We're all unique individuals who have different experiences, different expectations. So I will never say that it absolutely doesn't hurt. It also depends how you define hurt. Um, but mildly uncomfortable stroke, nothing is what most people feel. It's usually we tingle. Um, where the needles go, I mentioned that in a previous video, but as a general rule, depends what you're coming for, but as a general rule, knees down, elbows down, stomach and back, and usually a cup on the head as well. Um, once needles are in, and you're up in, I might also do other things as well, I should say, actually. Um, in addition to needles, I also use other modalities like cupping, which is a form of massage, like gua sha, which is another form of massage, essentially. They're both bodywork techniques. I also use electroacupuncture. I'll sometimes put needles in your ear. Um, what else do I do? Heat. I use a warming herb called moxa quite often quite often just do a bit of massage as well. It very much depends what you're coming in for and um, what I actually do. And as I said a couple of times in this video, I will go through it with you in person, in the room. I just like to try and give people as much information as possible. Knowledge is power and all that kind of jazz. But I know that for me, if I know what's coming and I know what to expect, I'm much more relaxed about the whole situation. Um, I think that's everything to tell you for this one. What we'll then do, or what we'll do as part of that consultation, is I'll then discuss with you how often I think you need to come to get on top of that problem. Typically, weekly sessions, sometimes twice a week to really get on top of something. Twice a week or once a week is a minimum. Usually, for most people, for the first four to six sessions, and then after that, we can review and look at reducing or changing what we're doing. Uh, they also, that also is the same for if what we're doing is not working. If after a couple of sessions you feel like nothing is changing, then there's other techniques and tools that I can pull um, from to try and help. But I tend to do different types. So there's lots of different styles of acupuncture. And I've trained in, I think it's nine styles now. I forget what number I'm at now. Um, and I will use those different styles depending on what I, th what, you know, what I think is going to be best for you. But if it's not working... I'm more than happy to change it up. I'm not one of these, like, we just need to keep going for another six months and then you'll get there. Usually, um, people start to feel the benefit within one or two sessions for their presenting condition. But what people also find is that they are generally just more chilled. Um, you're more relaxed. You're more... Oh, in flow is the phrase I would use. So things are just less of a fight. You can get more done in a more comfortable, relaxed manner. Um, people usually sleep better, they've got better energy, their mood's a bit easier, you know, you're less up and down, um, and that's usually within a session or two. And then, depends on what it is, um, other signs and symptoms will start to disappear as well. It also depends how long it's been there. Um, if you've only had it for two days, you'll probably only need one session. If you've had it for 20 years, you're going to need a chunk, you're going to need a chunk of sessions because your body's now stuck in that habit and that ingrained behaviour if you like your um, neural pathways will be very strong to that current thing so to change that requires some shifting um, what else do I need to tell you in this session yeah so I'll also talk to you about how often you need to come you'll also be given now this is entirely optional in terms of what you do with it but I always like to send extra information so I'll give you ideas of things that you can do to tweak your lifestyle um, to make things better. Invariably, symptoms that we have are as a result of how we live our life. So by changing how we live our life, we can change what's happening in our bodies. Um, yeah, 
So I will give you lots and lots of ways of doing that. So I can give you so I'll be, you will be getting some mindset type tools. You'll be given meditation techniques. I am a certified meditation teacher. Um, and I'm also working on a couple of other qualifications as well. Uh, so you may well get the benefit of them depending on when you come and see me. Um, I'm a qualified coach as well. So I do coaching, do some mindfulness. We also go through foods from a Chinese medicine point of view. So energy of food, sorry the Chinese energetics of food. So they look at food very differently. It's not about calories. It's about what it does to your body. So a very obvious one is chili. Chili heats us up. It makes us hot. So if you have signs of heat in your system, you want to avoid things that make you hotter. You want to eat more cool stuff until you get more of a balance again. And then you can start reintroducing stuff. Um, you'll also see that at the moment I have very colourful hair. It changes on a very regular basis. So I'll keep you on your toes with my hair, if nothing else. Um, and also some acupressure. Usually I give specific points to people um, and I'll recommend other things that may be useful. If I think another therapy will be really good for you, then I will tell you. If I think somebody's a better fit than me, I will tell you. Um, and offer advice and support. I see my job as so much more than sticking needles in people. It's about so much more than stabbing people. One of the beautiful things about Chinese medicine, which is what I practice, is that we see the body as a complete unit and there's so many ways that we can work with that unit and it's holistic sense. Things aren't in isolation, you know, like what happens in your shoulder will affect what happens in your finger. You know, so all these things matter. Um, but I'm not sure I mentioned that now, but yeah, just so for me, it's about embracing all of that and looking at all the ways in which I can support you to get back to living that fabulous, vibrant life that you want to live. Uh, and I'll do it all, as you can probably tell from these videos, with a little bit of humour, hopefully, and a bit of lightheartedness. But know that I'm here for the tears. I always have a box of tissue if you need them. Um, and a hug. All you need to do is ask. If you ever want a big hug, I'm always up for a hug. Um, just ask. Uh, I think that's everything I want to say in this little video. I hope it makes sense. So what to expect is, basically, you're going to be asked a lot of questions and then you're going to get treatment. That's the first session. Follow-up sessions, a lot less talking because you've already had questions and it doesn't change that quickly. Um, it'll be a quick check-in. How are you doing? What feels different compared to the last time? Has anything improved? Is it not improved? Has anything got worse? Where are we at? And then next session or treatment. Um, so again, typically up to knees, typically up to elbows, abdomen, back, that kind of thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, as a general rule, I leave you alone to relax once your needles are in and you're quite comfortable. Um, but I always leave people with a buzzer. So if you need me, you press the buzzer and I'll come running back in again. I don't leave the building or anything. I'm in. Uh, I'm in the clinic with you. I'm just letting you relax because as you can probably tell, I'm a bit of a blether. And sometimes that blethering can be a hindrance. Um, I'm not shy talking about topics. Um, and that's not necessarily always a good thing. Uh, when you're trying to relax. So I do try and leave you alone to relax. Um, again, I'll reiterate, if you have any questions, if you're uncomfortable with anything, talk to me about it. I am not psychic. You need to talk to me. Um, if you can't manage, for whatever reason, what I'm suggesting in terms of number of sessions and all that kind of stuff, that's okay. I'll work with you where you're at. You might not get the results you want, unless you do the stuff I say. <laughs> It will take longer, but we'll get there if you can't commit to weekly or whatever it is. For whatever reason, and I don't need to know. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I need to tell you in this video. Uh, yeah. Bye for now.